Hi, my name is Taylor Robertson. I'm a robotics software developer in Waterloo. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to break out a pattern. If you have parts that have varying tolerances or fixturing that isn't quite perfect, and you have programmed a pattern, and notice that when you're running, the pattern just isn't quite perfect, as opposed to going ahead and teaching three individual welds for this part, I'm going to show you how you can break out your pattern instead to fix this issue. I'm going to stop my program and I'm going to go back into edit mode. I'm going to move my robot up out of this fixturing and I'm going to select my pattern end. I'm given a series of options for editing my pattern, one of which is breakout pattern. I'm going to select breakout pattern. And what that's going to do is it's going to explode out all of the welds in my pattern into individual welds. So now my program looks as if I had originally taught three individual welds. The part that is out of place is my second one. So I'm going to go and modify the second weld in my pattern. I'm going to select my second weld start and click go to position. This is going to bring me to the weld start that is part of the pattern. I'm going to adjust it for my actual part placement. So I'm going to hit the blue button to unlock my robot. And now I can move my torch into the seam of my part. And on the screen, I'm going to hit modify position. This is going to touch up my position on the pattern. I'm now going to go to my end point and hit go to position. It is going to bring me to the current position in my pattern. I'm again going to unlock the robot, move it in to my new weld end position. And on the screen, I'm going to select modify position. Because I have taught new positions in this program, it's going to have missing moves. I'm going to go ahead and fix these missing moves by going to my last known point and teaching it how to get into my new weld start. And by going to the end of my weld and teaching it how to get, get out of my part. You can see the tutorial on teaching discontinuities for more information. Once I have completed that, I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to rerun my program. Since I am not near my start location of my program, it's going to ask if I would like to go to my start point. I'm going to say yes. Or if you feel comfortable and know there is no obstacles in the way, you can select run anyways. Now that I'm at my start point, I'm going to click run. And it is going to run my program. You can see that now once it gets to the next part, it has adjusted for the new positions that I have taught. My first and last parts remain untouched from my pattern. And that is how you break out a pattern.